Hi, I'm JC, and I want to show you on this video uh, the knowledge base uh, tabular data feature that was recently released. I was uh, playing around with it a little bit to see what is possible, and I want to show you what you can do and how it can be used on the projects. So let's get started. Here and uh, now, as you can see, uh, you can upload a table a data or JSON data to your knowledge base. And uh, you see that you can put um, this uh, structure, it can be uh, whatever you need. And two things that are important here are the searchable fields and the metadata fields. Uh, the searchables are the ones that are going to land on the knowledge base as information. And the metadata is going to be the ones that you can do uh, queries and then search and filters based on that information. And one important thing is uh, that uh, the fields that you put here in searchable, they have to be on the root of your object here uh, of the of the data. Otherwise, I, it's going to give you an error. Um, but besides that, uh, yeah, it's all pretty much uh, what you want to uh, to put here. Uh, it's okay. Then uh, the other things that uh, you might want to take a look are the new filtering operators and uh, how you can search the data. But I will show you uh, how it can be used uh, real quick. So on the documents, uh, you have like a new endpoint uh, here under the knowledge base uh, API uh, document API endpoints. Uh, you will see that there is a new upload table data, and this is uh, the one that I am uh, right now. So basically, you grab uh, this uh, endpoint and then you upload the data. So for the format, uh, as I show you, you have to have um, the name, the schema, and the items uh, of the information that you are going to put uh, on your knowledge base. So based on that, I put I took uh, one uh, data example from, from this website and I adapted to have everything here on the root of the objects so I don't have any type of issues. So everything is there and that's pretty much. So on the knowledge base right now I don't have any information but then we can send the query and then see how it works. Uh, that's, that's quick. So basically, you get uh, like a 200, and then uh, some information about the about the request. Uh, but uh, if you go back here and take a look, then you will see that you have a new entry based on the data that you uploaded. So these are all the information that you have available now as chunks. And then uh, the cool thing is that you can use this as you are using uh, your knowledge base already. You can uh, do queries about it and then it will give you some information. So let's test that out. So let's say I want to know what is the name of this person. Uh, we can go back to the knowledge base and then hit preview. And then we say what's uh, the name of the user with this email. And then, uh, based on the information, it should say Leanne Graham, and that should be the, the response. And there you go, it is. So you can uh, query uh, the information and ask some some questions, and then it will give you some uh, the answers based on the information that you have there. Then uh, the other thing that we can we can do is to, or I I can show you is like how we can use this on the project. So let's take a look. I have a very simple um, a workflow here, and then we can see how, how it works. So here we are on this workflow. So basically, it's very simple. Like uh, I greet the user, I ask for the email, and then I use the knowledge base a query API to get some information. So let's test this out and see how it goes. Run test. Yes, Evie, what is your email? I will going to use the same. And then we will see the response. Welcome back, uh, Leanne. So 
we could have uh, any type of usage uh, like uh, depending on the data that you have but one uh, thing that uh, you can do for example is to filter the information based on the uh, um, on some value so for example i'm putting like i put in the like return the first name of the customer that's my question to the knowledge base api and i pass like now a new or like this uh, filter uh, entry where I say email is equal to the email that I'm collecting. And with that information, you get uh, the response from, from your knowledge base based on, on the parameters. So it's more reliable than just putting uh, some information on uh, the AI step and they say, hey, grab or extract the entity uh, from this uh, input and then it makes uh, some things more easier. There are other things that are quite interesting as well. So if we take a look here, uh, there is uh, this is another example that I that I put. For example, return the emails of the customers, um, basically based on a specific city. So if we take a look uh, on my data, I have like three users that have this uh, uh, city or that live on the city so let's uh, see that for example i get the chunks as the users that are filtered by this uh, parameter so city uh, this uh, and it's going to be the same as the other ones uh, let's go view here for chelsea and also for nicholas and you might have um, a response here depending on depending on your query depending on your prompt uh, based on the information that you're putting, so output, and it will, it gave me like the emails uh, of the of the users that are matching this search criteria. So it can be used in that in that way. That is one way. There is uh, another way that it could also be used, and is uh, not ask questions uh, about your data, but get get uh, only get the information that you that you want. You can put like an empty question, pass the synthesis as false, and in a similar in a similar fashion, it will give you the information without running like the AI uh, step behind it. Uh, so it will still give me the information on the chunks, uh, but without any in, uh, passing the data to the to the AI itself. So that is also. And that you can build a, a car or carousels uh, with the information or like use uh, different like if products for e for e-commerce then you can do some some math or like you can show different things uh, based on the data so that's pretty much uh, what i wanted to show you and um, i think it's very cool it's, it's a very cool feature and that's that's it for for this one so see you on the next one bye bye